podcast creep for love The legendary literary genius, William Shakespeare, in one of his great works, said, there are so many events in the womb of time. Shakespeare's statement is a graphic illustration of about four decades of existence of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. The story of the university started in 1980, when the federal government of Nigeria announced the decision to establish seven federal universities of technology with the aim of enhancing technological development in the country. The Federal University of Technology, MENA, thus came into being on the 1st of February, 1983, to train scientists and engineers. This documentary provides an insight into the significant impact made on the growth and development of education in Nigeria, as well as how the Federal University of Technology, MENA, became a key player in the global academic scene. The growth and development of the university started with the appointment of the Foundation Vice Chancellor, Professor Jonathan Othman Ndagi, in November 1982, alongside the first Chancellor of the university, who is also the Emir of Zaria, al Haji Sheu Idris. The pro-chancellor and chairman of the first governing council of the university was also appointed on 1st of February, 1983, to mark the foundation date of the university at the defunct government teachers college, BOSU, now called BOSU campus of the university. Having acquired the defunct government teachers college, BOSU, the facilities were remodeled and upgraded as well as additional structures constructed to accommodate the central administration block comprising the vice chancellor's office, the registry, and bursary. Nine classrooms, one laboratory each for physics, chemistry, biology, geography, and geology, the library, mini computer center, male and female students' hostels, as well as staff quarters were accorded priority. Federal University of Technology MENA was established back in 1983 and is among the third generation universities. And looking at the journey so far, we will say that the university has done well. Uh, we started as a very small component where everyone knows everyone. But today, sometimes I'm surprised that I don't know most of my colleagues in the university. Someone has to introduce himself or herself and say, oh, I'm a staff in this school, or even in my school, just to tell you the extent of the growth we've had over the years. In June 1983, the recruitment of the foundation academic staff commenced while the first batch of the recruited academic staff reported on the 1st of December 1983. The second batch reported on 3rd of January, 1984. The first set of students reported for registration on the 13th of February, 1984. The health services of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, started on the 1st of June, 1984, with a staff in a room shared with other units of the university. Today, it has grown into a full-fledged division comprising six units. In September 1985, the Senate building at the Boso campus was completed to accommodate the Vice Chancellor's office, the registry, and the bursary, while the Student Affairs Division relocated to offices as well occupied 
by these units. Science and engineering are core disciplines in any university of technology. The Federal University of Technology, MENA, therefore worked hard to establish four schools at the beginning. They are School of Science and Science Education, School of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology, School of Environmental Technology, and the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology. Precisely on the 28th of October 1984, the Senate of the University concluded arrangements for the creation of the other three schools. 1st of February 1986 marked the official inauguration of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, by former military president and commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Ibrahim Badamasi Bangida, GCFR. The first convocation ceremony took place on the 27th of January 1990 with 22 graduates. The staff strength has also gone up from about 50 in 1984 to 2,484 in 2020. The university staff school, which was established in 1987, now boasts of a secondary section. General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida, GCFR, the former military president and commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, performed the third turning ceremony on the 2nd of June, 1992, to commence project execution on the main campus at the Gidan Kwano along Mina Bida Road. Since then, it has been work unending. Physical development of the main campus started with eight projects under phase one of the implementation program of the master plan. The projects include the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology, School of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology, as well as School of Environmental Technology Buildings. Others are Students Hostels, Student Center, Library Complex, Senate Building, and road network. The university also got approval and connected the Gidan Kwano campus to the national grid. Apart from this, more strategies were evolved, which led to the completion of quite a number of projects under phase one of the implementation program of the master plan. Consequently, movement of the university from Bosa campus to its main campus at the Gidan Kwano along Mina Bida Road became a reality on Monday, the 24th of January, 2005. After the stunning event in the history of the institution, the Federal University of Technology Mina witnessed steady growth and development under different leaderships of the university management. There is a mutual respect a mutual recognition of uh, each other's responsibility. Our focus is that there is paramountcy of the interests of the students. And two, we consider it important that there should be fairness, justice, okay, all around in the relationship of management to staff and to students. Our lecturers in this university, they've always complied. They know the essence of being here and they've been cooperating with management and and try to ensure that we strive towards attaining the visual mission of the university. What is responsible is the fact that there is immense cooperation between management and staff. That understanding is there. The university also established campus radio station, codenamed Search FM, to reach out to students and the residents of the university community. The community radio Search FM has had a donation of a building, um, a radio station by uh, Alaji Mohamed Babangida, IBB's son. The Academic Publishing Center, sponsored by Tet Fund, to serve as publication center 
for academic journals of all universities in the North Central geopolitical zone of the country, Wilson comments operation. We initiated. has constructed the center and equipped it with computers to improve e-examination of the students of the university and also create additional office accommodation for staff of the center. Two additional blocks of male and female students' hostel have been constructed under the presidential needs assessment. In spite of these efforts, hostel accommodation has remained a major challenge. able to secure um, the support of our urban shelter and they have now committed to the provision of 5,000 bed spaces for us um, with 1,500 to be delivered this year as the first um, cluster. The university is desirous of accommodating at least 75% For the university. So as it is now, the university has become a kind of a giant construction site uh, with so many uh, projects going on and there are different levels of uh, completion. The university has, in the last two years, witnessed tremendous strides in the area of physical infrastructural management and the union work hand in hand to bring about development and peace in the university. All unions, not only my union, are members of a budget monitoring committee. They look at the way and manner by which money given from TED fund has been expended. The construction of the School of Physical Sciences and the School of Life Sciences complexes have started as the university management is committed to relocating the schools from Bosa campus to the main campus at the Gidan Kwanu along Minabida Road in no distant future. By the grace of God, before the end of this year, both schools can now be relocated from Bosu, where they are currently uh, are located, to the permanent site. The construction of lecture theatre for the School of Information and Communication Technology aimed at providing lecture space for all the departments in the school has begun. Other projects include completion of the second phase of the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology Complex, construction of the second phase of Cyber Security Building, 20 units each for male and female lavatories, construction of 250-seater capacity lecture theater for School of Information and Communication Technology as well as construction of two ICT hubs. The university's e-learning has finally gotten approval from the National Universities Commission to run degree programs after 10 years of its establishment, realizing that research is one of the key mandates of any university in the world Federal University of Technology, MENA, Research Drive, has received tremendous support of the university and research has been scaled up. The management is always happy to see that the university is moving 
find in the aspect of research? University management, they have been really supporting us as researcher, going to many of the grants. At least we have information of research grants that are available nowadays. Our vice chancellor is a scientist. It's an international scholar. So he knows the value of research. The University Board of Research, having been expanded to the Directorate of Research, Innovation and Development, Federal University of Technology, MENA, has been in the forefront of conducting cutting-edge research. Currently, we have over 120 people um, in different parts of um, the world that are doing their PhDs. Those that have come back have actually been contributing massively. Uh, for the purpose of research. Today in the university, we are expanding our research so that the communities around us, we want to affect their farm product. We want to affect the way they do things, and that is ongoing. Yeah, the researches that we conduct in the university have been of uh, immense uh, community, especially in terms of educational achievement and in terms of uh, product uh, development. A team of researchers from the Center of Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, Federal University of Technology, MENA, recorded a research breakthrough by producing the first carbon nanoparticles in Nigeria. This was made possible by acquisition of multi-million Naira state-of-the-art equipment under the auspices of the World Bank. What we are doing now is to produce a nanoparticle that will free the food of bacteria. Even when they consume the food, all the bacteria present in their body will also be eliminated. Also, one of the professors from the Federal University